Welcome back to Vlatflix. New season. This year we're going to make a lot of exciting content. So if you're new here, please subscribe and join our cocktail experience. You guys show with so much love to my episodes how to set up basic bar at home and also how to set up advanced bar at home. But in this episode, I wanted to explain to you how you can create all kind of handcrafted cocktails but using only equipment and tools that you have on your kitchen. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, first bar spoon and a mixing glass. We need it for cocktails such as Old Fashioned, Manhattan, Negroni, so basically all the cocktails that need to be stirred. But instead of mixing glass, you can just use a glass jar. And bar spoon, I will be replacing with chopsticks. Mixing glass and a glass jar. You don't even have to use mixing glass all the time, so just take chilled glass, put ice ingredients, and stir it with a regular spoon. And shaker. We use a cobbler or a Boston shaker every time when we mix something with heavy cream, juices, syrups, we basically need to add air and chill the cocktail. And instead, you can use glass jar with lead. So just pour ingredients inside, close it, and shake. You can also use your shaker for protein shakes, Add all ingredients. For Boston shaker, we need to use a strainer. And here, instead of the strainer, I will just cover it with lead, like this. Make sure there's just a little gap, so none of the pieces of ice will get into the glass. To measure ingredients for our cocktails, we use jigger. It could be this shape or maybe like that. It's really convenient to use them since most of them have lines inside. You can see here is a half ounce, three quarters, full is one ounce. Here is the same, but it goes all the way to two ounces. But instead of the jigger, you can use the shot glass. This one is two ounces. It's very convenient to use. So if you use half of it, that will be one ounce. And if you pour out half ounce, that's the half an ounce. You always should measure your ingredients. You also might have on your kitchen the stackable glasses, little bowls, really convenient since they're exactly one ounce. You can use measuring spoons. So, and I just checked the large one where it says two tablespoons is exactly one ounce. So, and one regular tablespoon is half an ounce. And you might have this kind of measuring cups. Well, but this one is more like for party drinks. <laughs> Whenever you need to model limes for your favorite mojita or caipirinha, we use muddler. But when you don't have it, you simply can use a rolling pin. Muddler, rolling pin. Next, we need to make crushed ice. Put ice inside and crush it. Instead of crusher, you can take a towel, put a few pieces of regular ice right inside, close it and smash it with a rolling pin. Perfect crushed ice. You can see from the ice crusher is more consistent, but that one is pretty close. It's very convenient to use little bar knives. But regular kitchen knife is almost as good. To make a nice uh, lemon or orange zest, we need a peeler. And you can make almost the same thin slice with a regular knife. And if you can't cut it really thin with a large knife, so just get rid of pith. This citrus squeezer is perfect for limes and lemons. Just press it and squeeze juice. But you can just do the same by squeezing it with your hands. Just before you use it, make sure to get rid of all the seeds. To put ice in a glass, we just use tongs. But I'm pretty sure at home, you will just do this. <laughs> to make your favorite pina colada or frozen margarita, we need a blender. And instead, you can use a Nutribullet that you use in the kitchen for your smoothies. When you need to make a smoky cocktail, like for example, smoky old fashioned, we take this smoker, put some wooden chips inside, turn it on and light it up. 
But if you don't have one, just use the cutting board or any piece of wood. Put some wooden chips on top, have glass ready and light it up with regular kitchen lighter. Cover. This is not quite like a smoking gun, but you still get a lot of flavor. And now I wanted to say huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters. You guys helping this channel to grow super fast, so thank you so much. And if any of you want to hang out more with me, I will leave a link in the description to my second channel. Okay, hold my camera. Well, that's it for today. Never be afraid to make something new, and I'll see you in the next video.